Hi, I'm Josh Allen. We're playing with some bake at home breads and this one is the rosemary and olive oil. And also we can turn it into a beautiful bread crumb as the basis for our baked egg dish. So we're gonna make a really nice breakfast dish. It actually is gonna have the hash browns on the bottom, the eggs, a little bit of cheese, and then the bread crumbs on top. So the way I started this out, really simply to show you the bread crumbs, because you know, it is all about the bread anyway. I just took our rosemary and olive oil, sliced it into a quarter inch, half inch thick slice, uh, tossed it with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and I baked them dry in a 350 oven. It takes about 30 or 45 minutes. You don't want to get too much color on them, you just want to bake them nice and dry. I'm going to put them in a food processor. And this is one loaf. Um, you can certainly cut this recipe in half if you've got a half a loaf of bread left over or however you'd like to do it. And I've got a cup of Parmesan cheese that's grated or, or shredded. I'm going to pulse this, it'll be a little noisy and we'll just pulse it down to a really nice fine breadcrumb. Okay, so we've got our really nice seasoned Parmesan breadcrumb. I also took some uh, new potatoes, some little red potatoes. I quartered them or turned, cut them into six, depending on what size you want. And I just roasted these in a 375 oven for about an hour. So then we're gonna move over to the stove and we're gonna make our egg base for this, for this kind of crustless quiche, and we'll put it all together. So we're gonna put a pot on the stove, about medium heat, and we're gonna make a roux. So we're gonna cook a little bit of uh, flour into butter, and that's gonna be the thickening agent for our for our egg base here. So our butter's melted, add a couple ounces of flour. Now we're just gonna cook it in. So we gotta kinda stay close. We're gonna keep stirring. Just wanna cook that flour into the butter. And this'll take a couple of minutes. Just wanna make sure we've got nice incorporation. We're gonna add 12 ounces of milk and 12 ounces of cream. We're gonna keep the heat on medium and we are going to bring this up to a boil because the thickening power of a roux won't really occur until we bring the entire liquid up to a boil. So we wanna make sure that we whisk it in here and continue to whisk, not the whole time. You can certainly walk away for a minute, but you don't wanna go too far. So you can see the bubbles starting to form on the outside. Right now we're coating the back of the whisk nicely. It's kind of becoming close to the consistency of like a, a loose pancake batter. And once we get there, we're pretty much ready to go. We're gonna add three ounces of Parmesan cheese to this, and we're gonna add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Anything that you got in the house will be fine. Whole grain mustard works really well, nice. It just gives a little bit of, uh, little bit of mustard flavor and a little kick to the dish. I'm gonna mix that in nicely. And then I took nine eggs, I cracked them into a bowl, kind of gave them a nice simple whisk. Now we need to temper this a little bit. If we dumped this whole mixture into our eggs, we would scramble them right here in the pot and that's not what we're looking for. We wanna bake them slowly and keep that creaminess. So the easiest way to do it is just to take a little bit in there. Gonna slowly whisk it in. Once you know you're starting to get there, you can add it a little bit more quickly. And we're gonna have this beautiful egg base for, the, for, the, for our quiche. Just grab the last of it out with my whisk. Set my pot aside, give it a nice mix. So we've got our egg base. Now we just have to put the whole thing together. So I've got my casserole dish here, nine by 13 works really well for this. Anything that you want, glass, ceramic, stainless steel, it all is okay. We have our roasted new potatoes. Put them in the bottom. We're gonna take six ounces of Gruyere cheese, sprinkle this right on top. Again, a nice, another layer of creaminess. Can never have your eggs too creamy in the morning, as far as I'm concerned. Then we're gonna add our egg base right on top. And we're gonna sprinkle just a really pretty layer of these seasoned Parmesan breadcrumbs with that dried rosemary from the bread, a little bit of salt and pepper. So this is getting you your toast right on top of your eggs. So we got that beautiful dish here. It's gonna go into a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes to an hour. Again, if you've chilled your egg base a little bit, it may take a little bit longer. It's gonna puff up nicely, and then it is gonna fall when it comes out, so be prepared for that, that's okay. But as soon as you can put a knife in there and it comes out clean, you know you're done. We've got one right over here to the side that we did a little bit earlier. So you can see it puffed up and then it fell down. We've got the nice uh, breadcrumbs. If your breadcrumbs start to get a little dark in the oven, you can also put a, a piece of foil over the top while it's finishing baking, just to make sure it doesn't get too dark. And you're just gonna cut a nice square, a nice wedge. 
You can see the potatoes in there. You've got the crunchiness from the breadcrumbs. Really comes out nicely. This can be served at room temperature or warm. Great thing to have on a Sunday because you can get it all done in advance. And the family, you can spend time with the family or friends when they come over. And it's a terrific dish. Creamy, crunchy, salty, mustardy. Everything that you're looking for in breakfast. Baked eggs using our beautiful rosemary and olive oil breadcrumbs with our bacon home bread.